1st of April but this is no uh, April Fool's joke all right I keep being asked I, multiple times I am asked about the phone mount setup I put the pound phone mount setup here between the handlebar uh, molding and the auxiliary light switch there is a small gap here of about 0.3 of an inch where I can attach a uh, C clamp and that's what I will do right now this is the C clamp RAM mount provides two different sizes this is the larger size around it around the C clamp I have put heat shrink to protect the handlebar and it's as simple as this it goes around it goes around that part where there's the 0.3 of an inch gap this part as you can see has a cutout in it and that just fits over the end like this and we attach that with two uh, self-locking nuts which I will do loosely right now just like that and the other one on on there like that and I screw them down tighten them down and put these on finger tight using a very old worn out 11 millimeter wrench I am going to tighten them down to the appropriate torque setting which is torque setting of just tight enough so it doesn't move I do this one turn at a time on each one so I get an even tightness on this plastic uh, uh, ball joint from ram mount and there we have it see that is now nice and tight so to protect myself and the motorcycle we have these little bungs that we place over the end of the screws that protects me and it protects the motorcycle and that is that part done here is a short connector for ram mount and here is the same size ball but this is the quad lock for my phone so this goes on there like that the quad lock mount goes in the end and I just screw up the the end uh, the, uh, t the handle until I have it in approximately the right position and tighten it down and then that's the ram mount now to apply my phone my phone has a dedicated quad lock phone case this is the uh, Samsung uh, S9 not the plus just the uh, S9 but you can get these quad lock uh, cases for pretty much all uh, phones even iPhone and it just connects there very simply onto the mounting and it is very secure and it's not coming off until I press this blue tab here and turn it through 20 or 30 degrees it won't come off and that is the ram mount this part all this is ram mount this part is a quad lock ball mount quad lock best mount for a phone that i ever had seen and i've seen a few there's normally at this position is one of these things but i've noticed with lots of phones that these press on the buttons and it uh, does strange things to your phone so when you buy the ram mount it, either ca it comes with this and you just swap it for a quad lock mount and that's it